the banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. It must be cold and lonely down there, in the icy water. That rebel who jumped the canal and broke the water lock, this is their doing. No, not so daring at all. I agree. We should definitely investigate. You get a sudden, sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Why the doom and gloom? It's just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. The logo is too deep in the murky water. You can't make it out. But you do see a monkfish float by. The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. I don't know. An hour or two tops? As you sit down in the old, rusty playground, the world around you becomes very silent. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. The tune on your lips forms a strange, yet undeniably beautiful contrast with the surrounding bleakness. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance, then, still looking straight ahead, he joins you with a higher pitched and slightly more melodic trill. Two birds on a wire, whistling by the seaside, looking at the water and the sunken car. The wind blows. In the distance, behind the church, some vagrants are having an argument over a bag of tear they found in the reeds. Further away, a flock of seagulls lands. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. <laughs> 